What is going on everybody, it's Tactical Renek, and today I'm going to try my hand at recording some War of Rights. Um, I've had the game for a couple days now, I've played it a little, I like it, I'm a big Civil War history buff. Uh, with that being said, there's a lot of things that probably will be said throughout the video that, if you're sensitive, uh, probably don't want to listen to. I'll try to edit it out the best I can. Unfortunately, I can't disable the voice chat, I mean uh, the text chat, so... Uh, yeah, I can't really do anything about that except maybe blur it out, but uh, yeah, just wanted that to be a forewarning before we jump into this, but other than that, let's get right to it. What is going on everybody, it's Tactical Renek, and we are jumping into some War of Rights. We're going to join the 12th, actually, yeah, we're going to join the 12th South Carolina, grab a private class here, uh, make sure I have the Springfield, and that's what we are going to roll with. So, um, as I said in the intro here... Uh, <laughs> try not to pay too much attention to any of the chat. The chat can be pretty, pretty fucky. So, I wouldn't, uh, I wish I could disable text chat at the very least, but unfortunately, I'm not able to. It's not an option in the game. But as you can see, it's a very beautiful game. And, uh, so, here's the deal. You have... Two teams, obviously, Confederacy, the Union, and you start out with a morale system, so basically, we're both battle ready right now, and it'll drop over time, and you guys will see that. So we got our Springfield here. I'm not sure which is the 12th South Carolina. Oh, found it. I see some Union forces across the field there. So, there's also a system in place where if you get out of line and you die, there's no deduction to the morale hit for your team. So, for example, last night we are playing and I killed a Union soldier out of line and that was the difference between one uh, point of morale, basically, which actually dropped them down to where they would lose the game. I just now realized I yeah, don't I believe I'm with my correct regiment. <laughs> I'm thinking at some point I'm going to uh, try to find a 144 hertz IPS panel because my secondary monitor is my old 60 hertz IPS panel and just looking at it, uh, honestly, it looks so much better than the one I'm using, but this one's 144 hertz, so that's all the difference. Um, this one feels smoother. Oh, there's Union soldiers there. So I'm going to fall back. I shouldn't have pushed up anyways. So as you can tell, your uh, best option of shooting at your enemy is volley fire. It seems to work the best. And I've just now totally realized that I may possibly be shooting at the wrong place. <laughs> I can't see. Good. 
Stay direct. Sharpshooter's flag is. We're missing. We don't have a flag. Okay. It's running. Charlie. Take it. I still haven't quite figured out what we're shooting at, but hey, they're telling us to fire, so that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> so South Carolina, we're gonna shift right after reload. Okay, boys, after reload, we will shift right. Get ready. Shift right. Shift right. And as you can also see, there's a lot of, lot of smoke. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, boys. To the right. You have different forms of moving as well. This is called double quick, and with double quick, you essentially trot with your rifle shouldered and that allows you to save a little bit of stamina which helps in your aiming i do see an american flag over there now you can barely see it keep going keep going yeah i see the infantry now there's a flag just to the center of the screen there where i'm looking i think we are i don't think this is this is a good position this is only one regiment Right on the wall. I think it's a mixture. South Carolina on the fence. I'm not yeah, this is South Carolina. This is South Carolina. Yeah. South Carolina. Carolina. We have both. Any, we anybody have, even know where our other regiment's at? Because I haven't even seen them yet. Northwest. No, they, I have no idea. We were all together and they, now they moved to uh, Northwest. Obviously, North obviously they're Northwest. I, I'm hearing a lot of uh, fire over there. Yeah, yeah, they moved there. Uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't. Oh, right I see the, the smoke edge. now. I see the smoke. Uh, north by northeast. Uh, yeah, north. Center field. Check when ready, guys. Check when ready. Check. 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 All right. Check. North All right. by northeast. Hey. Take aim. Take aim. Fire! Fire! Fire. There's also a lot of bullet drop. If I if I understand correctly, um, there's a ton of bullet drop in this game. <laughs> I think I think I don't really know, but I'm still learning it. Like I said, just bought it new, and it's pretty cool. Line is ready. All right, take aim. Take aim. Fire. North by north Fire. Yeah, so you can hear the guy in the chat saying if you see the flag, aim for the flag. Now, that's a good point. And the reasoning for that is the flag is essentially, not only does it allow you to know where your regiment is, because there's no radios in this time period, but that is also a spawn point. One more volley. One more volley. One more volley. Ready? Check. Ready? Take aim. Take aim. Fire. 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 Okay, let's go, South Carolina. We're gonna shift right. Okay. Shift and right after my reload, I think. Shifting right after reloads. Alright, I am a first. I'll stay, I'll stay okay. back with you. We're good, we're good. Sure we because I'm a fucking bullet mad magnet, so. I'll Me probably too, get shot first. Come on, shifting along the bed. We are flanking, but we're flanking. And for those of you wondering why I'm not playing as the Union. It's kind of like a Star Wars thing. Not only do I live in the South, so naturally I'm going to pick the South, but I also just happen to think, you know, the rebel, whole rebel deal in about any given situation is cool. It's like, you know, you're fighting against a higher power to a degree. You're the underdog, and everybody likes an underdog. I mean, let's be real. Reload, 
boys, they are exactly the same. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to... Oh, hey. Taking shots okay. north. Check yeah, north. North. Yeah, yeah, north, yeah. northeast. Okay, everybody ready? Right, right, right. Get, get up on this hill. Yeah. Sure. All right, let's get up on hill. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, South oh. Carolina. Let's go. Form a line. Form a line. Right here, right here. Yeah, we have to line up. They're all on the fence. They're on the fence. Line up. They're on the fence. Line up. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I believe that the uh, Union losses may have just taken a tremendous loss. I said losses. Union losses. Union forces may have just taken a tremendous loss. I'm sorry. There's so much. This game, man, it gets so loud sometimes, especially when the cannons start going off. That was a very nasty volley, yeah. I have this tendency to always hit reload after because it's like imperative that you keep your gun loaded in this. So we've got that done. Now we're going to throw our bayonet on as well. That's another thing as well. It takes longer to reload crouching than it does to do it standing. <laughs> that headshot sound is absolutely gruesome. Oh, okay. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So you see my morale was lowered. The loss to our morale was reduced by 80% because I was in formation. So you have three stages, essentially. You have in formation, you have skirmish, which is when you're fighting with a few other people, and you have out of line, which is when you're by yourself. So obviously the more alone you get, the more it affects your team's morale. So it's a, a system that forces you to not go and try to play on your own because the more people that do that will lose very very quickly now unfortunately I'm having to reload back here because I just spawned in your gun 9 times out of 10 is not reloaded when you just first spawn so we're gonna get back to battle ready here. Get our bayonet on. It was really cool when I went to Georgia a few years ago. I can't remember the name of the fort. Fort Pulaski, I believe it was. It was pretty cool. We had like big parrot cannons. And they were telling us the effective range of those cannons, and they're just fucking unreal, dude. Alright, 
Alright, get your reloads in. Get your reloads in. Check when ready. Okay. Got a rainbow. We're good. We're good. Okay. Ready? So now we're skirmishing. So as you can see, like I said, it does take a little longer to uh, get the gun loaded when you're crouching. And I believe that's because it's an awkward position. But I also want to say this is also a time period where they were starting to move away from... Uh, barrel loaded weapons so and I don't know why I crouch I'm just gonna reload it standing still I'm really excited for this game, and I cannot wait for it to start getting fully realized. It doesn't run amazing right now, but I feel like eventually it will potentially run great. But it's also a CryEngine game, and most CryEngine games just don't run very well. Okay, so as you can see, we started whooping in the hollering because... They just lost morale because we've gave them so many hard volleys and they've picked so many losses from us that it's starting to hurt them a little bit. I'm not 100% sure what we're shooting at here, but we'll continue to follow the flag anyways and uh, go from there. But as I said, I think I'm going to try to get a different monitor. Uh, this one just doesn't... It's just not as smooth. Uh, it is smooth. I'm sorry. The, the frame rate's great. The colors are nowhere near as good as what my IPS panel is. I don't know exactly what we're shooting at, and that's the one problem I do have with this game. Um, I understand the realism aspect. There's not really a way to know what you're shooting at without seeing. Um, but, you know, like I said, realism aspect, but at the same time, it is a game. So I would maybe like to see something implemented that kind of gives you a little more direction. We should probably move up. Yeah, we'll fire. Let's move up on them. Let's go. Let's, yeah, yeah, we gotta yeah. get across this field. Let's go, boys. We gotta go. <laughs> this game also does have free look if you hold alt. So that's a pretty nice touch as well. I see the flag, I see the flag, directly north. Yep, enemy direct east on the fence, guys. 
Direct east on the fence, guys. You, you'll see them lined up. There's a ton of them. Look directly east. Can you see the smoke? I feel like somehow half of our regiment got separated here. I'm actually going to remove my bayonet for now. So we're doing really well. Um, we've actually taken next to no losses. Oh, that was enemy. Yeah, so uh, team kills tend to happen a lot in this game as well. I believe my game just froze. Yeah. Unfortunately, like I said about the bugs, my game just froze. So, um, yeah, I'll pretty much leave it at that. Sorry that you guys didn't get to see a lot of up close gameplay. That sucks. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know. And uh, I'll be sure to try and get it out. Thanks for watching. Peace out. He's charging up.